Good morning, friends. Welcome to my channel. My name is Bernard. Today's violin lesson is going to be on bowing. Um, the strokes that we're going to be using will be staccato, that's with a T, staccato, marcato, and martelet. It's making some difference there. They're all very similar, but it's good to, to know the terminology. That marcato is a very strong, strong stroke, short stroke. Martele, literally, mar martele means hammer stroke. So it would be very, very heavily accented, whereas staccato is just basically a short note. Let me give you a basic demonstration. Staccato would be like. <coughs> And if I were to say, well, play marcato, and well, play martele. So you see, it's it's all it's pretty subtle, but it, it's it's really important to be you know conscious of the the terminology. So I'll play I'll play some pieces. This is going to be from book two of the Strictly String series. Um, what page is that? Uh, page sixteen. Page sixteen. I'll put it, I'll put the in the description what where I'm playing. So let's play a piece that's called Marcato. <laughs> So that would be considered marcato. You know, it's, it's it's pretty strongly accented. And say, well, where's where is this accent coming from? It's coming from my first finger on the bow. That gives I I push in, and then of course release once I move the bow. Okay, so here's a here's another piece, and we'll, we'll say this is from uh, Mozart on a Kleine Nacht. That this is we'll call this martelé. So maybe you'd say, well, it's the the you know the, the quarter notes, the longer notes, the, that will be more of the martelé stroke. The next, the eighth notes, maybe staccato. Obviously, this could be called marcato also, but we know the extreme. If someone says martelé, they really want, you know, a lot of, a lot of accent. And if it's marcato, it's strong and short. Let's see, I've got another one that would be called Marcato. How about? And that is opposed to staccato, if I were to play. Uh, step back and make sure you can see my hand. So hopefully this makes the differences between staccato, marcato, and martelé clear to you. Um, if there's, if you have any questions, please put a comment in down below and I'll try to answer it. So thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.